Let's have a look at MetaProfit. MetaProfit, as in Meta, as in Facebook, is a model type used for time series prediction that is it's essentially auto ML. You, you just give it the data and let it go at it. I give you the data set here that I made use of for a Kaggle competition with my students. It was sales data where they tried to predict demand. You can see the data here. You can see that overall there's a couple of things going on. There is definitely multiple levels of seasonality. Overall, as the, the summer months really seem to do better than the winter months. And also there's weekly some, uh, seasonality going on in here as well. There's also a trend, meaning that the population of this area is growing and as are the sales. So we are going to pull in the data and you can see here, I, I put it basically into the form that it is needed by MetaProfit. We can request that MetaProfit do a forecast basically just based on the data that we gave it. We request MetaProfit to predict the, the Y hat. So that's the value, kind of the, the median of the value that it thinks the data is going to be at. And then a Y hat, the upper and lower confidence value. You may have seen hurricane predictions. I'm from the United States, we get hit with hurricanes. So they, there's a cone of uncertainty, meaning as you go further and further into the future, you just don't know as much what, where that hurricane is going to end up. So that is what the, the Y hat upper and lower are actually for. Now we can plot the prediction and you can see this here. You can see the data going, going kind of up and down. The dots are really how closely the residuals are fitting on the training data. And then we can predict into the future. And you can see it's not capturing the trend quite as well as I would like, but it is capturing all of the couple of layers of seasonality really quite fine. You're also able to see the cone of uncertainty as, as you wish. You can certainly see the trend being predicted. And overall, the trend is, is, is mostly being pr predicted here. Uh, it does flatten out a little bit, but it tends to project to predict the, uh, it does tend to project that trend into the future. And it shows you the cone of uncertainty for that. And it's also, does predict the weekly seasonality and also the monthly seasonality. So it's breaking out multiple pieces of seasonality. This is really a pretty powerful package and I definitely recommend taking a look at it for prediction projects that you might have in the future. So this is another approach. This is AutoML. So this is a less hands-on approach. There's not a lot of configuration or tuning. And as a result, it's kind of what you get. So you might consider this as possibly an ensemble or other, utilize it with other techniques for time series prediction. Thank you for watching the video. And if this was useful, definitely give me a like. Subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss future content in this course, and I thank you for watching.